You saw your doctor because something isn't right. Maybe you feel weaker, or your skin feels numb and tingly. The symptoms you are experiencing could be due to an issue in the nervous system. The nervous system is complex and includes the brain, the spinal cord, and all the nerves that come out of your spinal cord to connect with your muscles and skin. You can think of it like a telephone conversation. On one end you have your brain, and it is trying to instruct its friend, the muscle, on how to move. Or you might have the skin on one end trying to communicate with your brain about something you are touching. The telephone wires are like your nerves, allowing the brain and muscle to speak to each other. Your doctor might order an EMG to see if your symptoms are due to a problem with your nerves or muscles. There are two components to this test. The first is called the Nerve Conduction Study, or NCS, and the second is the Needle Electromyography, or Needle EMG. NCS involves stimulating the nerve at one point and recording at another point. Sometimes we record over a muscle, and sometimes we record over a different part of the nerve. Going back to our telephone example, if the wire is cut, then the muscle and skin can't communicate with the brain, and you may experience weakness or numbness. The current, or shock, that is applied to the nerve is small, and can feel like an electrical zap. It is very brief, lasting less than a second, but usually several shocks are needed to get a good response. Depending on the part of your body that has symptoms, you might need nerve conduction studies in an arm, a leg, multiple limbs, or rarely on nerves around your face. On average, we would perform nerve conduction studies on four nerves in your arm and three to four nerves in your leg. In order for nerve conduction studies to be accurate, your hands and feet need to be warm. We ask you to wear gloves and socks to your appointment in order to keep your hands and feet warm in preparation for the test, especially in the winter. This will save time during testing since cold extremities will have to be warmed up before testing. We also ask you not to use creams or lotions on your hands, arms, feet, or legs because this can interfere with test equipment. The second part of the test is the needle EMG. This involves the insertion of a very small needle electrode into your muscles one at a time. The needle functions like a microphone and allows the doctor to hear and see the electrical activity in the muscle. This feels like a small pinprick and can sometimes feel a bit achy in the muscle, but does not generally cause a lot of pain. We generally need to check between three and five muscles in each limb where you have symptoms, but the exact number of muscles can only be determined by the doctor performing the test on the day of the test. If you have similar symptoms on both sides of your body, often the doctor will only check one side. If you are taking strong blood thinners, like warfarin, apixaban, also known as Eliquis, rivaroxaban, also known as Xarelto, dabigatran, also known as Pradaxa, or adoxaban, also known as Lixiana, please tell your doctor about this. If you are on one of these medications, your doctor may choose different muscles to study. But rest assured, several studies have now shown that needle EMG is safe with a very low risk of bleeding or bruising, even in people taking strong blood thinners. Some people may be apprehensive about this testing as they do not like the idea of having a needle in their muscles. However, doctors have been using this technique to study the nervous system for decades and it is very safe. The most common side effect of the needle EMG is muscle discomfort which can last about a day or so, similar to the aching after getting a vaccination like the flu shot. This almost always settles on its own. Some people can experience a small amount of bleeding at the site of the needle electrode, but we do our best to apply pressure and minimize the risk of this. There is a theoretical risk of infection when you break the skin barrier, but the risk is minimum, and we clean the skin beforehand with alcohol. In rare circumstances, the needle electrode can irritate a nerve and cause some tingling of the skin. In doing thousands of these tests every year, we very rarely see any of these possible side effects. If you find the test too unpleasant, speak to your doctor and you may decline certain parts of the test. Overall, both nerve conduction studies and needle EMG are very safe procedures that are meant to help understand the cause of your symptoms. We hope that this information in the video helps you to feel better about undergoing this important medical test.